The railway is the greenest form of mass public transport, and we work to make it even greener and more sustainable for generations. We marked the COP26 climate conference, highlighting the unique part rail can play in supporting green growth and reaching a net zero future. Glasgow Central Station hosted the Green Trains of the Future, while we shared stunning aerial shots of the first emission-free, fully electric train to cross the iconic Forth Bridge. The first electric passenger train ran between Glasgow Central and Barhead, helping to decarbonise services on Scotland's railway. We reached a milestone in partnering with suppliers to tackle climate change, with three quarters of our suppliers by emissions, committing to setting their own science-based emissions targets. Rail also reduced emissions by taking huge numbers of lorries off our roads. Over 65 billion net tonnes of freight moved across Britain, while the Southampton Freight Train Lengthening Project boosted freight by unlocking more space for more trains at the country's second busiest container port. Sustainability also meant making our railway more resilient for the future. Most notably of all, almost 10 years since storms destroyed part of the railway in Devon, the South West Rail Resilience Programme made great progress towards protecting the line between Dawlish and Tynmouth from the effects of extreme weather and rising sea levels, including the newly built bigger Dawlish seawall. Extreme weather posed challenges as our climate continued to change, placing more pressure on the railway. We launched an Extreme Weather Resilience Task Force to help the railway prepare for more severe weather in the future. We're doing everything we can to contribute to a sustainable Britain and reduce the impact of climate change on journeys for you and freight. <laughs>